So in our last video, we made this schematic, which I pulled off some random website on the internet, and now I want to lay that out onto a PCB. Now, in full disclosure, this is not the first time I've done this particular one. This is what we're going to make. It's actually quite lovely. Um, well, at least it is to me, because it's my first attempt. So, I have the same schematic, well, slightly different. I, I drew it twice, so... Here's this one, and when you open the schematic view, uh, you see this, when you open the PCB for the first time, you see this, which is just a random placement of all of the components. So let's, I'm going to make this bigger where you guys can see it. And the objective here is to combine all of the components together into a rational layout with no lines crossing and Ideally, it would be logical and human readable, and you don't want to use, if you can help it, you don't want to have to use a bunch of jumper wires. So, looking at our schematic, I know I'm going to have at least one jumper wire because these two cross, this wire and this wire. Um, alternately, I could have a printed circuit board that has more than one side to it, but it, I am being my first project, I'm not going to do that. So, switch back to the PCB view. The view, show PCB. Let's see if we can lay these out. Now I'm going to follow the schematic diagram that we had earlier as a rough pattern. At least I'm going to try to, because the layout on the schematic made sense. Hopefully it will make sense. like in the schematic view, you can rotate these. And what I'm looking at here is these tiny lines. They're color-coded by the net that they're associated with. So looking at this capacitor, if I rotate it 180 degrees, then those don't cross anymore. So I'm going to make them nice and neat. I don't know if fritzing is a real word, if it's one that they made up for this, but I feel like that's what I'm doing here. Is I'm just fritzing around with it until it looks right. I guess that's nice. Surely there's a um, beautiful automated way to do this that applies some mach machine learning or machine intelligence. I don't know. I fix computers. Now it looks kind of like our schematic that we started with. I'm going to move these resistors down just a little bit to give a little more room between the components. And there's a couple of things I can do now. There's a button down here called Auto Route, which if I hit it, will convert all of these into the closest relative line that they can create. So hit that. Dramatic pause for effect. Shoot up. That's that. So. Um, here we have these two lines that cross. It's not smart enough to make those not cross. So I'm going to connect them with a jumper. What I do that is I click on the wire, delete it, and now this over here, I'm scrolling down looking for the jumper part, which is this one. Got one side here. Thank you. Oh, go ahead and 
dug that a little more and make it straight up and down. What I'm doing now is I'm coming here to this component, and um, the mouse cursor changes when you're on these. Delete wire to bend points, delete just that little section. Look, undo. I'm going to grab this little bendy bit. No, not. Not going to let me. The software is in beta, so I don't know if it's me or if it's the software. Um, I blame myself first because I am a noob. There. Oh, that's better. Can I make this guy longer? Yeah. Got all the nice neat straight lines. Now we can make everything beautiful. So this green thing in the background is the actual printed circuit board itself. And obviously I don't need one that's this size, so I can shrink it down. You do that, you select the PCB, and then you can change the dimensions of it. Make it. That's still too big. That's good, big enough for 16. Gives me room for the other. Looking at this, this is all fine and good, but I don't have a power connector, uh, a place to attach my 9-volt battery. And I kind of want this to work when I'm done. So, I'm going to create a new part and a bit to it. I'm sure there is a better way. This is just the way that I figured out. So the eventual part we want to create is called a via, because a via is a hole between two parts. Oh, that's fine. What I need to do is I need to make it a single layer printed circuit board that brings all the traces. Into one spot. And here you can switch it. If you're viewing it from the top down or viewing it from the bottom up. So fine. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this little handle here, bring it down here. This makes a bend point. I'm going to make the bend point into a via, which is a hole. And then because I have obsessive compulsive disorder, I'm going to make it straight again. So from our schematic, this is our negative connection down here. Now I want to do the same thing for the positive connection up here. Compared to bend point to do via. Now, when you have a via selected, you can change the size and thickness of it. Now, since this will be for a 9 volt power connector, I'll change that in just a moment. But, uh, my recording has 30 seconds left, so uh, I'm going to stop here and then we'll pick back up in the next thing.